Another day, another story. The Battle of Okinawa was the last major battle of World War II, and one of the bloodiest. On April 1, 1945, Easter Sunday, the Navy's 5th Fleet and more than 180,000 U.S. Army and Marine Corps troops descended on the Pacific island of Okinawa for a final push towards Japan. The invasion was part of Operation Iceberg, a complex plan to invade and occupy the Ryukyu Islands, including Okinawa. Though it resulted in an Allied victory, kamikaze fighters, rainy weather and fierce fighting on land, sea and air led to a large death toll on both sides. Welcome to Tabo Eminent Channel. Okinawa Island. By the time American troops landed on Okinawa, World War II on the European front was nearing its end. Allied and Soviet Union troops had liberated much of Nazi-occupied Europe and were just weeks away from forcing Germany's unconditional surrender. In the Pacific theater, however, American forces were still painstakingly conquering Japan's home islands, one after another. After obliterating Japanese troops in the brutal Battle of Iwo Jima, they set their sights on the isolated island of Okinawa, their last stop before reaching Japan. Okinawa's 466 square miles of dense foliage, hills and trees made it the perfect location for the Japanese High Command's last stand to protect their motherland. They knew if Okinawa fell, so would Japan. The Americans knew securing Okinawa's airbases was critical to launching a successful Japanese invasion. Landing on the beachheads. As dawn arrived on April 1st, morale was low among American troops as the 5th Fleet launched the largest bombardment ever to support a troop landing to soften Japanese defenses. Soldiers and army brass alike expected the beach landings to be a massacre worse than D-Day. But the 5th Fleet's offensive onslaught was almost pointless and landing troops could have literally swum to shore. Surprisingly, the expected mass of awaiting Japanese troops wasn't there. On D-Day along the shores of northern France, American troops fought hard for every inch of beachhead, but troops landing on Okinawa's beaches surged inland with little resistance. Wave after wave of troops, tanks, ammunition and supplies went ashore almost effortlessly within hours. The troops quickly secured both Kadena and Yontan airfields. Japanese Army Waits Japan's 32nd Army, some 130,000 men strong and commanded by Lieutenant General Mitsuru Ishijima, defended Okinawa. The military force also included an unknown number of conscripted civilians and unarmed home guards known as Boatai. As they moved inland, American troops wondered when and where they'd finally encounter enemy resistance. What they didn't know was the Japanese Imperial Army had them just where they wanted them. Japanese troops had been instructed not to fire on the American landing forces but instead watch and wait for them, mostly in Shuri, a rugged area of southern Okinawa where General Ishijima had set up a triangle of defensive positions known as the Shuri Defense Line. Battleship Yamato. American troops who headed north to the Motobu Peninsula endured intense resistance and over 1,000 casualties but won a decisive battle relatively quickly. It was different along the Shuri Line where they had to overcome a series of heavily defended hills loaded with firmly entrenched Japanese troops. On April 7, Japan's mighty battleship Yamato was sent to launch a surprise attack on the 5th Fleet and then annihilate American troops pinned down near the Shuri Line. But Allied submarines spotted the Yamato and alerted the fleet who then launched a crippling air attack. The ship was bombarded and sank along with most of its crew. After the Americans cleared a series of outposts surrounding the Shuri Line, they fought many fierce battles including clashes on Kakazu Ridge, Sugarloaf Hill, Horseshoe Ridge and Half Moon Hill. Torrential rains made the hills and roads watery graveyards of unburied bodies. Casualties were enormous on both sides by the time the Americans took Shuri Castle in late May. Defeated but not beaten, the Japanese retreated to the southern coast of Okinawa where they made their last stand. Kamikaze Warfare the kamikaze suicide pilot was Japan's most ruthless weapon. On April 4, the Japanese unleashed these well-trained pilots on the 5th Fleet. Some dove their planes into ships at 500 miles per hour, causing catastrophic damage. American sailors tried desperately to shoot the kamikaze planes down but were often sitting ducks against enemy pilots with nothing to lose. During the Battle of Okinawa, the 5th Fleet suffered. 36 sunk ships, 368 damaged ships, 4,900 men killed or drowned, 4,800 men wounded, 763 lost aircraft. Hacksaw Ridge. The Mida Escarpment, also known as Hacksaw Ridge, was located atop a 400-foot vertical cliff. The American attack on the ridge began on April 26. It was a brutal battle for both sides. To defend the escarpment, Japanese troops hunkered down in a network of caves and dugouts. 
they were determined to hold the ridge, and decimated American platoons until just a few men remained. Much of the fighting was hand-to-hand -hand combat and particularly ruthless. The Americans finally took Hacksaw Ridge on May 6. All Americans who fought in the Battle of Okinawa were heroic, but one soldier at the escarpment stood out, Corporal Desmond T. Doss. He was an Army medic and Seventh-day Adventist who refused to raise a gun to the enemy. Still, he remained on the escarpment after his commanding officers ordered a retreat. Surrounded by enemy soldiers, he went alone into the battle fray and rescued 75 of his wounded comrades. His heroic story was brought to life on the big screen in 2016 in the film Hacksaw Ridge. Doss won a Medal of Honor for his bravery. Suicide or Surrender Most Japanese troops and Okinawa citizens believed Americans took no prisoners and they'd be killed on the spot if captured. As a result, countless took their own lives. To encourage their surrender, General Simon Bolivar Buckner initiated propaganda warfare and dropped millions of leaflets declaring the war was all but lost for Japan. About 7,000 Japanese soldiers surrendered, but many chose death by suicide. Some jumped from high hills, others blew themselves up with grenades. When faced with the reality that further fighting was futile, General Ishijima and his chief of staff, General Cho, committed ritual suicide on June 22, effectively ending the Battle of Okinawa. Death Toll Both sides suffered staggering losses in the Battle of Okinawa. The Americans bore over 49,000 casualties including 12,520 killed. General Buckner himself was killed in action on June 18, just days before the battle ended. Japanese losses were even greater, about 110,000 Japanese soldiers lost their lives. It's estimated between 40,000 and 150,000 Okinawa citizens were also killed. The Battle of Okinawa is now considered one of the deadliest in all of human history. Who won the Battle of Okinawa? Winning the Battle of Okinawa put Allied forces within striking distance of Japan. But wanting to bring the war to a swift end, and knowing over 2 million Japanese troops were awaiting battle-weary American soldiers, President Harry S. Truman chose to drop an atomic bomb on Hiroshima on August 6. Japan didn't give in immediately, so Truman ordered the bombing of Nagasaki on August 9. Finally, Japan had had enough. On August 14, 1945, Emperor Hirohito announced Japan's surrender, marking the end of World War II. The Battle of Okinawa was one of the major battles fought during World War II, taking place from April 1st to June 22, 1945, on the island of Okinawa in the Ryukyu Islands of Japan. It was the largest amphibious assault in the Pacific theater and the last major battle of World War II. Key points about the Battle of Okinawa include Strategic importance Okinawa was considered a crucial strategic location for the Allies as it provided a potential base for launching the invasion of the Japanese home islands. Capturing Okinawa would also allow the Allies to establish air bases within range of the Japanese mainland. Allied forces, the United States led the Allied forces in the Pacific, with Lieutenant General Simon Bolivar Buckner Jr. commanding the U.S. 10th Army. The forces included troops from the United States, the United Kingdom, and Australia. Japanese defense, the Japanese defenders, under the command of Lieutenant General Mitsuru Ishijima, were well prepared and heavily fortified. They employed a defense in-depth strategy, utilizing an extensive network of underground tunnels and caves. Intense fighting, the battle was characterized by fierce fighting, with both sides suffering heavy casualties. The Allies faced determined Japanese resistance, kamikaze attacks, and the challenging terrain of Okinawa. Kamikaze attacks, the Battle of Okinawa witnessed a significant number of kamikaze attacks by Japanese pilots, who deliberately crashed their planes into Allied ships. This tactic, along with the use of conventional air and naval forces, inflicted considerable damage on the Allied fleet. Civilian casualties, the civilian population of Okinawa also suffered greatly during the battle. Many Okinawan civilians were caught in the crossfire, and thousands perished. Conclusion of the battle, the Allies eventually gained control of Okinawa, but the victory came at a high cost. The battle resulted in a large number of casualties on both sides, with estimates ranging from 77,000 to over 100,000 Japanese soldiers killed and around 12,000 Allied soldiers killed. Additionally, a large number of Okinawan civilians lost their lives. Impact on the Pacific War The Battle of Okinawa had a profound impact on the overall course of the Pacific War. The high casualty rates, both military and civilian, and the tenacious Japanese defense influenced subsequent strategic decisions, including the decision to use atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. 
The Battle of Okinawa marked a crucial step in the Allied advance towards Japan and paved the way for the eventual Allied victory in the Pacific. Naval operations, the Battle of Okinawa involved one of the largest naval fleets in the Pacific War. The Allied fleet, commanded by Admiral Raymond A. Spruance, faced fierce opposition from the Imperial Japanese Navy. The Japanese launched numerous kamikaze attacks, employing suicide planes to target Allied ships. The naval battles around Okinawa were intense, and the Allies lost numerous ships, including battleships and carriers. Kamikaze attacks, the Battle of Okinawa is notable for the large-scale use of kamikaze attacks by the Japanese. Kamikaze, meaning, divine wind, in Japanese, referred to suicide attacks by Japanese pilots who crashed their aircraft, often laden with explosives, into Allied ships. The kamikaze attacks inflicted heavy casualties on the Allied fleet and created a new and challenging threat for naval operations in the Pacific. Tunnels and Caves The Japanese defenders had prepared an extensive network of tunnels and caves throughout the island. These underground fortifications served multiple purposes, including storage, shelter, and defensive positions. The intricate tunnel system allowed Japanese forces to move and resupply without being easily targeted by Allied forces. It also made the task of capturing well-fortified positions challenging for the Allies. Ashijima's defense strategy, Lieutenant General Mitsuru Ashijima, the Japanese commander, implemented a strategy of attrition and defense in depth. Rather than concentrating their forces on the beaches, the Japanese defenders withdrew to well-prepared inland positions, forcing the Allies to fight for every meter of ground. Ashijima aimed to wear down the Allied forces and inflict maximum casualties. Civilian impact, the Battle of Okinawa had a profound impact on the civilian population. The Okinawan people faced the hardships of war, caught between the two battling forces. Many civilians sought refuge in the caves and tunnels alongside the Japanese defenders. The battle resulted in a significant loss of civilian life, and Okinawa's infrastructure was heavily damaged. Legacy The Battle of Okinawa left a lasting legacy on the island and its people. The devastation caused by the conflict, including the loss of lives and the destruction of infrastructure, influenced post-war discussions on the reconstruction and governance of Okinawa. The battle's impact on civilians and the extensive use of kamikaze tactics contributed to the changing nature of warfare in the Pacific. The Battle of Okinawa, with its complexity, intensity, and high human cost, remains a pivotal event in the history of World War II in the Pacific. Thanks for watching request you to subscribe the channel.